Welcome back to Angful Place. We're on a mission to find out what to do with the hairnet. Okay, let's see. Ooh, we'll need the socks, maybe. Keep your hands off the laundry. You'll only soil them again. Do you need a hairnet, Grandpa? Only, only when I'm cooking, sleeping, or bathing. In other words, just when my hair needs to stay dry. Oh, okay. That's, uh, that's nice, Grandpa. Take the dentures. And maybe take the cauldron? Grandpa's latest creation, petroleum soup. Inflammatory on the stomach, highly flammable in general, and a hazard to all low-flying birds in the vicinity. Well. Unreachable, like so many things. Unreachable, like so many things. Uh -huh. I'd love to, but I can't reach it. I'm just too small. Can there be anything better than the revitalizing feeling of lice crawling between your teeth? Yeah, yummy. Can there be anything better than... Yeah, yummy. Can there be anything... Okay. Yeah, that would look hilarious. Too bad, I can't squeeze it through the bottleneck. Grandpa's dentures really need to be clean, but he'd better do it himself. Ooh, let's hope that's only spinach. Ugh. Let's take his notes. Well, who would have thought? Those really are regular recipes. There goes my theory that Grandpa is preparing our meals from the fishing bait manual. There's a fishing bait? Manual? We need well, those. Who would have thought? There... Where's the fishing bait manual? Um... Cork, I guess? Fishing bait manual, fishing bait manual. I need that one. Cooking is one of Grandpa's tasks, not mine. Not that I didn't offer to cook. But Ben objected. It's a sign of how low his esteem for me is. I mean, petroleum's hot. Okay. There are a million ways to use a cork. This one resembles my own life best. Being completely useless. Oh! Every time Grandpa uses wine for cooking, I end up with cork between my teeth. If I had more cork stoppers, I could use the net for fishing. It's not big enough for a real fish net, though. It's more like a dip net in size. I just made a decision. Never grow as old as Grandpa. Grandpa's dentures, but he'd better. Ooh, let's hope. There are a million. Be. Okay. okay. I just made it. I get it. I get it. What if I, uh... Spot is not going into the soup, no matter how much Grandpa keeps bugging me. Well... 
How about it, Spot? Care for some earthworm blood? I understand. Satisfied already, aren't you? Um, uh, wait, maybe in this? How about it, Spot? <laughs> Not even Spot likes Grandpa's eye candy, and he'll eat almost anything. Caterpillars are way better pets. Toads can hardly hold anything. There are some juicy recipes with worms in here, too. I'd better not let Spot see those. No, Spot, there's nothing to see here. <laughs> What's that thing turning around over there? Uh, don't think there's any more to see in here. It's going to turn out to be really obvious, isn't it? I'm gonna be like... Bruno! What a shame, he's asleep. He's the only one in the family who listens to me. That's because he doesn't understand what you're saying. The trap is empty, and that's how it should be. Fire dragons are flying sources of fire that tend to spontaneously self-ignite. Needless to say, Spot is crazy about the little blighters. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll try going in there instead. Ouch! Oh, damn! This is going to blister! Why do I have to be so clumsy? Oh, maybe I can, like... No, I'd rather not. There are more than enough teeth in this already. I don't have enough cork stoppers to secure all of the teeth. I have a strong feeling I just have to make a grab for it. Goodbye, cruel world. Uh, what? There's a certain act in which a corkstopper is part of the costume. It's quite embarrassing, really. Maybe the most embarrassing act of them all. And that's saying something. That sounds... Uh, I don't want to know what that's about, actually. Let's just leave again. But no, seriously, I had hoped to make a fishing net out of that. Hairnet there. Uh, if I had more cork, it's not, it's small. Yeah, yummy. Can Grandpa's dentures really need to be cleaned, but he'd better do it himself. Ooh, let's hope that's only spinach. No thanks, I don't need that. Chasky have strong teeth, you know. Strong teeth, loose tongue. What's that? Oh, nothing. Uh... I don't want to die of an infected bladder. What am I supposed to do with that? I'm an adventurer, not a... Sure. I just made a decision. Maybe I could use... I can't get near... I'm... Can't get near enough. Maybe I could use the... I can't get... I'm... Okay, okay. Every time Grandpa... If I had... It's not... It's... What's this over here? That's here... The screen... Da hast du dich doch... Um, Richtig, on the station. Gibt's... Es gibt die Kies ja, genau. richtig. Ja, genau. Ah, uh, what? Ja, ja, klar. Das ist in German. Ist das ist super, das wusste ich gar nicht. Ja, die das wusste ich gar nicht. Das ist äh, so gut gemacht. Ja, nächstes. That was weird.
Hello, Bobby. Ah! Oh, <laughs> it's you. Please don't scare me like that. Do you want to see? Do you want to see the circus? What? Are you mad? Do I look like I have time for that kind of nonsense? You just Maybe. go back to your circus, Sonny. I have to deal with the important things in this world. So the big responsibilities of this world are up to you? Now that's unsettling. Yes, indeed. And neither elephants nor colorful balls can prevent me from carrying out my mission. Not even cheerful chimps with hilarious hats. You don't happen to have chimps in your circus, do you? No. No, of course not. And even if you had, I wouldn't have been interested at all. For I <laughs> am a Chasky. Okay, See you you'll later. Maybe later. Siri is a Chasky, though. Unfortunately, Ben is right. Spot really was just thirsty. See, this is the bad part of uh, point and click adventures. Get kind of um, confused. This chair is. I just made a decision. Hey, Ben. Hi, Ben. Hi, sleepyhead. How often do I have to tell you? Rehearsals start at sunrise. It's not my fault. I slept very badly last night. Slept badly? What's that supposed to mean? Not those nightmares again. They're not ordinary nightmares. The earthquake, the craggy rocks. Good heavens, Sadwick. Now you're a clown, a jester, an entertainer. You're supposed to make people happy, not depressed. Uh... There's a stranger at the shore. Were there any kids with him? No, no kids. Did he look simple-minded and easy to impress? A bit simple-minded, maybe? Did he look rich? Not really. Then we're not interested in him. But I told him about my dreams and he... Sadwick, Sadwick, Sadwick. How often do I have to tell you? We're a traveling road show. We sell dreams to kids and wealthy fools. But... And why not to anyone else? Because it doesn't pay off. Exactly. Because it doesn't pay off. That is, uh... See you. Yep. And don't forget, keep smiling. You're a clown. Remember? <sighs> that is quite the attitude, Ben. Just saying. No. Spot won't make very good bait. Those fire dragons are much too scared of him. Maybe the teeth? That's not suitable for attracting fire dragons. Grandpa always uses Nawaii eggs as bait. Nawaii eggs? Okay, let's go get some eggs. Uh... Which one would be the Nawaii, Nawaii eggs? Why eggs? Grandpa has always had a soft spot for animals. Ouch! Hot! Okay, maybe if you use the hanger teeth with I don't it. really want to know if that's one of Grandpa's regular ingredients. Every time Grandpa uses wine... Grandpa always wears his hairnet while cooking. But I still find hairs in my soup anyway. Spot doesn't need a hairnet. And... Spot doesn't need a handkerchief. He doesn't have a nose. One day, I'll end up being a bitter old drunkard.
I'll teach Spot to open bottles then. <sighs> what fun. You're depressing! It's not winter until replugging Grandpa's bottles appears on my schedule. It's nice to have things to look forward to. Uh... Every time Grandpa... Yeah, that would look too bad. Now I'm just clicking everything, honestly. Um... Fire Dragon Trap is empty once again. Grandpa always uses Nawahi eggs as bait. Where's your Nawahi eggs? Ah, uh, hello, Grandpa. Ah, hello, Ben. Is it? Ah, uh, gee, Gra <laughs> You can ask her whatever you can. Ah. Uh, Is there anything you can tell? Oh, oh, the Chasky? Well, when I, when I was still wet behind the ears, I desperately wanted to become a Chasky too. I don't want to become a Chasky. Ah, the Chasky are the, the messengers of the king. Brave adventurers were characterized by their cunning and courage. Their most outstanding quality is that they never lose their positive attitude, no matter how hopeless their situation might be. Aha! They're the complete opposite of you, Sadwick. Thanks, Ben. You're a great help. I think everyone has noticed already. Yeah, but I thought I'd just say it again. Don't don't let him tease you. I'm sure you'd make a great Chasky. I don't want to be a Chasky. And Ben is right. I'd hardly qualify for the job. Don't be so hard on yourself. Everybody can change. I don't want to change, okay? You should you want try. to be depressed the rest it of your life? It could only be an improvement. <sighs> Pardon the pun, but you that's depressing what? as yes, fuck, I'm dude. I'm able to... Cheer up, Cheer up, Ben. What's going on? Is it crashing again? Do you need your dentures, Grandpa? No, not really. We're having soup today. They'd just be in the way. And once thought that'd be a good idea, too. He couldn't juggle for two weeks. I was so proud of Spot. Are those by any chance Grandpa's dentures? Put them back immediately. Or do you just want to eat soup for the rest of your life? <laughs> well, okay then, Ben. If you say so. This rock reminds me of one of the most basic principles of life. No matter what you have accomplished, no matter how big your paws or how sharp your teeth are, you can still end up being a doormat for a band of circus clowns. Oh. Oh. You're bringing everyone down, man. Everyone. I shouldn't burn things at random just because I'm desperate. That's how I lost my ant wrench. What? What? Even though it looks that way, he's not going to sneeze anymore. I shouldn't cram things into the stovepipe at random. Last time I did that, the whole trailer reeked of smoke for ages. Months later, I was still coughing myself to sleep. Hmm, what was that note again? Ah, yes. I remember now. It's where Ben sketched out how the human cannonball act is supposed to work. It's so unfair. He can even draw better than me. That's supposed to be me. Ben didn't get the fearful expression on my face right, though. I can't reach it. Ben doesn't like me to wear his hats. He says they always sag so pitifully afterwards. <laughs> Even the hats get depressed.
Our circus costumes are spittle repellent. That's quite important, especially when you play the bigger towns. Our circus costumes are... Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have survived the poodle training act. Ironically, the poodles weren't so scratch and bite proof. Ben never found out how the wolf got into the kennel. What? Boy, I hated that act. What the hell? I'd better keep that thing. There's only that stupid note in there. Ben made me write down all my chores. Pure harassment, if you ask me. How? <sighs> ah, what the heck. I'd better collect the note anyway. Maybe I'll find a fire somewhere. Friend has given me a lot of tedious chores for today. Ah, <sighs> why did I even bother to get out of bed? Well, okay then. If I wanted to practice my human candle vault full act, where would I go? Bruno sleeps almost all day. He has to drag our trailers through dark forests during the night. I bet he never has nightmares. On the other hand, maybe this world is his nightmare. That is way too dark, man. Keep your hands off the laundry. You'll only soil them again. Have you carried out all your chores yet? Um... No. Oh, why doesn't that surprise me? Because chores are so stupid. Oh, you want more intelligent chores. Do you think you'd accomplish more then? Or would you want to play them at chess? Uh-huh. For the last time, carry out your chores. Where's your parents, man? Next week, I'm supposed to start demossing the undercarriages. <laughs> More recipes. Okay. The blood of earthworms. The bottle is almost empty again. The blood of earthworms. There are a million ways be- it's not on my schedule to blow Grandpa's nose. It's not one of my chores to delouse Grandpa's Which means there really are chores that are worse. Who would have thought? We're supposed to brush teeth three times a day. But no one said whose teeth. We're supposed to brush no one. Grandpa makes soup most of the time, because after having had solid food, the woodworm that lives in his dentures starts snoring. That's what he says anyway. What? What? <sighs> Cooking is one of Grandpa, not the- It's a sh- I mean- <sighs> I'm confused. I'm so confused. Anyway, I guess this is uh, this is thank you for watching this episode of Frankfurt Place. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you join me next time for finding out what the hell is going on with this game. Anyway, bye.